make this a little quick ramp video to so anybody that was looking to use that manual rack that I might have linked a model or part number to. I don't remember if I listed my power rack or the manual one. The power one works for the setup that I ordered the T-Bird rack. The manual, however, not so much. You probably have to get this direct from Rod and Custom unless you can find another part that fits because this one obviously doesn't for whatever freaking reason. So, first off, obviously the bolt holes are different. They sell offset bushings. There's, these things still don't offset enough. They're, they're supposed to offset a half inch, quarter per side, they don't. Uh, you could maybe make these work by smushing the bushings or drilling them out a little bit. I don't know, you're probably gonna end up with a, not a stable rack if you do that. But anyways, so that bolt hole's in. Let's see if I can get a view. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't line up. About a quarter inch off. Problem number one. Problem number two. Let's see if I can get an angle. I don't know if you can see that spline. That's roughly where it would sit. Yeah, there's no way a U joint is going on that spline. It is like on that little cross support there. So yeah. I'll be going back to my power rack. I'm about to go pick up a Union. Locally, there's a speed shop close by that sells AN fittings. I actually ordered two off Amazon the other day, but they won't show till Sunday or maybe sometime early week. And well, I'm impatient and I want my car back. So um, I'm gonna go pick these up. They're like $3.99 there, which isn't bad at all. Normally they like to jack up the prices locally, but that's actually cheaper than the Amazon ones I bought. So I'm gonna go buy those. I I do have some leftover PTFE, I think. I'm just gonna make some little short pieces and loop those fittings together. And put a little bit of fluid in there, just like a bunch of YouTube videos advised to do, just to keep the seals good. And it pretty much is gonna convert this power rack into a manual rack, more or less. It's gonna have a crappier gear ratio, turn ratio. Well, not uh, lock to lock, is gonna be the same, but the power uh, for turning the wheel is gonna be a lot harder because it's shorter lock to lock so i'm not gonna have as much leverage and secondly i'll probably be fighting the fluid valve a little bit as well so yeah that'll be fun the other option is to take this rack apart and pretty much cut out all the valve stuff and reassemble it also don't really want to do that i'd like to keep this rack intact i'm gonna con get in touch with rod and custom and see how much they charge for a manual rack i might end up ordering a manual depending on how hard this thing is to steer when and if I ever go to the point of using an e-pass system, I will either probably use this as it is or convert this at that point to a full manual and cut the valving and stuff out just so I can have the, the tighter turn radius, or not turn radius, but the tighter steering, more shorter. I don't even know how to say the name. Less lock to lock, less tur wheel turns lock to lock. I don't even know what the freaking wording is right now. I'm irritated and frustrated with fighting this thing because it seems like every time I go to bolt something up, it doesn't fit and I have to fight with it. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll be back whenever this thing's all bolted up. Later.